Hey guys, RC here, back with Draft Day Sports Pro Football 20, Episode 4. Uh, let me get a little comfortable. Ah, much better. Alright, uh, so, I went ahead, we're, we're right to the end of the season. Uh, you can see we're 8-7, and seven, so when you look at the record, no matter if you go back, it doesn't show you your record at that time, it shows you the record for where you're at kind of fluky but that's all right you know spoiler alert uh but week nine we uh we beat the bears 29 to 10 Dak prescott 21 to 27 233 yards and a score elliott 17 carries for 92 yards uh this was the week i went back in and i changed when we were when i was doing the depth charts and i changed it to where the uh I'm noticing that my hand is down here and you can't see it. So I'm making like gestures and that's all right. Um, but I, I went in and I had my offensive coordinator do the offensive depth charts, defensive coordinator do the defensive depth charts. And uh, I made a few tweaks uh, in there. There were a couple of where, you know, cause going off of the OBR, the overall ratings, uh, that it looked like we had better options in there. So uh, anyway, uh, so we ended up winning that game. Week 10, we lost uh, in overtime. And again, you're going, how do they score 10 points in overtime? In my league setup, I set it up for a full quarter. You know, you got to play to win. So uh, they ended up scoring twice. We didn't score at all. Rodgers, 426 yards. Uh, Elliott, 20 carries, 72 yards, two touchdowns on the ground, so fair play to him. Uh, Dak had uh, 25 out of 42, so not a horrible game by him. Uh, then if we move to week 11, we uh, beat the Raiders, uh, 20 to 10. Prescott, 253 yards, one touchdown. Elliott, 93 yards on the ground with a touchdown. Hearns, again, leading the way in reception yardage. Week 12, uh, we played Cleveland. We lost 21-17. Uh, Baker Mayfield did not play. He was injured. Uh, Prescott, a 400-yard outing, his first of the season, 32 out of 53. Pollard, five carries for 42 yards. Uh, not a lot there. Week 13, we lost by three to Detroit. That was heartbreaking. Uh, yeah, we didn't lead in any category. So uh, Prescott, 21 of 34, just over 200 yards. And you know what? That's why I was saying last episode, I don't think Dak Prescott is an elite quarterback because he doesn't throw for 300 yards, hardly ever. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott, this is showing why they should not pay him right now. <laughs> Uh, Randall Cobb, seven catches. Amari Cooper, 74 yards, two touchdowns. So good to see that from him. Moving on to week 14, we uh, lost to Minnesota. And we started getting emails in the last couple of weeks. So when you get your weekly emails, you get your injury notifications, which we haven't had any that were bad enough to show up, or at least I don't think. So... Uh, <coughs> assuming that that's a thing that you would get excuse me it is early uh that we would get uh, a notification if you had a, something that was screwing up your depth chart because literally every other game uh sports simulation game that i play uh will do that it will not let you sim ahead if your depth chart is out of whack so uh Anyway, just I, I hope that's a thing. <laughs> if it's not, it should be, in my opinion. Uh, but because I did, or you know, at least give me an email that somebody's injured, so then I know I need to go check it rather than just continuously simming. But I know I've got guys that are dinged up. We've looked at them, you know, but they're all listed as probable when I do go look at them. But I've quit looking at them every week because I'm not getting emails. So anyway, just something to think about. Uh, if that's not in place, 34 out of 55, another 400-yard game, one touchdown, one pick. Elliott, almost 100 yards, finishes with 96. Week 15, we beat the Giants 27-17. Prescott, 236 and a touchdown, kind of his normal game, barely 50%. 
Uh, 109 yards for Elliott, so that's good to see. And week 16, we beat Philadelphia 26 to 13. Uh, so we are at uh, 296 yards, no scores for Prescott. Uh, rushing, how did we do? Elliott, 14 for 50. Not good at all. And that brought us, for some reason in our schedule, that's not a typo. We actually played a road game in week 16 with Philadelphia. And week 17, we play Philadelphia on the, well, we had a home game. And we play them on the road the very next week. That never happens. That never happens. Yet it's happening here. Just out of curiosity, Green Bay, Chicago, no, they're not. Somebody else has to, well, I guess no. We could be the only club, I guess. All right, so if we go into standings, Packers uh, and Lions duking it out in the North. Lions with the advantage, 13-2. and two. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, Saints at 14-1. and one. They have wrapped it up there. Carolina, 10-5. and five. Atlanta, 10-5. and five. And only one of them is going to get to go to the playoffs. Looks like Carolina has the uh, advantage right there. We're 8-7. and seven. Philadelphia is right behind us. And, of course, we play here in the last week. Uh, winner goes to the playoffs. Loser stays home, it looks like, unless somehow we have a tiebreaker with them. And Arizona, 7-8. and eight. Wonder uh, player stats. Uh, oh, come on. Who's that? Is that... No, that's Arizona. Arizona. I want to go to roster. Kyler Murray. Doubtful with severe migraines. 2,074 yards passing, 11 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. <coughs> Stats. 13, uh, 68 carries, 634 yards, 9 touchdowns for him. And his OVR is 88. Holy shit. Somebody likes him at Wolverine. Um, wow. Oh, who's the other guy I wanted to... Uh, there was somebody else I was just thinking about. Um, Kyler Murray. Oh, well. I don't remember. But uh, wanted just to check him out. Uh, so anyway, going back to the standings. So that's the National League, uh, National League, NFC. Cincinnati, 11-5. and five. Pittsburgh looks like they'll be staying home from the playoffs, possibly. They're in a race with Houston and Tennessee for the wild card. Jacksonville, 12-3. and three. Not realistic. <laughs> Jets, Patriots, both at 10 and 5. They should both be in the playoffs because they can't be caught. And the Raiders and Chargers coming down to the last week of the season. The Raiders, four game win streak to move from 3 and 8 to, or, yeah, 3 and 8 to 7 and 8. So they're doing well. Uh, New England, number one scoring offense. Uh, Cincinnati, passing and yardage per game carolina rushing per game new orleans with the overall scoring defense jacksonville yard yardage defense passing is seattle tampa bay giving up the fewest rushing yards dallas we've made it onto a leaderboard on defense nice uh let's see any other trades and again we've got to scroll all the way down uh, week two, week 14, David Brooks signed an extension five years. That's our guy. Uh, we did sign our offensive coordinator because, remember, he had a three-and-a-half star. Uh, so I went ahead and signed him. I'm going to go ahead and let my head coach go and my defensive coordinator go and hire new ones. Uh, I was reading uh, – there's uh, – a website, a, 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 simula, a, sim for, a sim league that I belong to, 
and it's and it's a community with a lot of different leagues it has out of the park baseball uh draft day sports pro and college football uh bowl bound college football fast break college basketball i think there's a pro basketball league uh so anyway there's there's uh quite a few leagues over there and um you don't have to be in all of them you can join one or the other and if you're interested in that uh, i will put the link in the video description if i remember which i never do but i will try to remember and if i don't and you're interested ask in the comments and then i'll reply and i'll put it in the comments for sure i actually meant to go look at amara darbo and and see but uh, i didn't um so anyway that's the only transaction since uh, the trade uh, Josh McCown and Paxton Lynch. Uh, let's see. Player stats. All right. So Rodgers still leads the league in passing yards. Prescott is second, 4,300 yards. That's hard to believe that he's done that because it doesn't seem like he's had that many completions, you know, on average. But 63.3%, 19 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. Uh, Rodgers with 30 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, 70%. Breeze, 29 and 10. Stafford, 25 and 11. Uh, Jameis Winston, 23 and 13. Uh, Jimmy G, 19 and 8. So, you know, Prescott got on the board. Not a lot of interceptions. I mean, only 8, so that's good. Uh, passer rating, he is fourth behind Rodgers, Stafford, and Breeze. Rushing yards, we are not on the board. A bunch of 1,000-yard rushers. Uh, Jockeys Rogers, 1,500 yards. Uh, Crabtree leads the league with 1,640 receiving yards. Alan Hearns, 107 yards a game. That is crazy. Amari Cooper goes over the 1,100-yard mark to crack into the top 10. Brett Maher is uh, fourth in points. Uh, Sean Lee, 105 tackles to get on the top 10. Uh, Demarcus Lawrence, eight sacks. He's on the board at number seven. And nobody with interceptions. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, there's our stats. Cowboys, number two in passing. Number eight in passing touchdowns. Number four five and passer rating 1600 rushing yards 4400 receiving yards 429 points saints with 631 uh, tackles we're not on the leaderboard sacks we are uh, way behind the packers they're dominating 11 interceptions so we're we're in the mix there middle of the pack there's our stats for the team uh, again i did uh sign Oh, I guess I need to go back to my team. Uh, so I did sign David Brooks, two and a half star. And if we look at his profile, you know, he does have a three and a half star to coach the offense. So uh, that is what I want to do there. I'm not sure whether to re-sign this guy. He's got uh, really good morale, flexibility, charisma. You know, I just think I'd like somebody a little bit better, you know preparation that's what i would like to see better here i think i'm not sure if there's any particular stats uh oh here we go few coaches hello hello okay so what it looks like from what i read uh pause i mentioned a minute ago and i get scatterbrained sometimes i apologize so over at the at sim nation which is the sim community that i belong to there is a league that's currently playing with uh pf19 which is last year's version i think they just had a vote if they're going to move to 20 or not uh pf20 this this version uh don't know if it passed or not but games are you know it's kind of like madden or out of the park or football manager a new version comes out every year they usually have some small tweaks to it i can't tell you what they are because i don't know <laughs> i have no idea um not for this game at least um uh, but um i was reading that it looks like there is a period in the off season that you can hire and fire coaches so 
that will be something we'll address. Uh, statistics. All right, so yeah, there's Dak. I want you guys to kind of not just see my team. Dak's on there, but, you know, we're at 67. Where's the completion percentage? I mean, that's kind of important. That should be, oh, there it is, 63.3. Um, 19 touchdowns, eight interceptions. Receiving Amari Cooper, he started 15 games, 83 catches. All right, targeted 119 times, so they're pretty split, pretty evenly. That's good. Uh, let's see, defense. We've got uh, interceptions. Jackson with two. Marlon Jackson. And, oh, no, not Marlon, Michael. Does Marlon Jackson still play? He was with the Colts. He's an ex-Michigan player. Just uh, That jumped into my head. Uh, Van Der Esch with two interceptions. Eight sacks for Demarcus Lawrence. All right. Kicking other. Fair enough. Uh, nobody's out of contract. Uh, you, you'll get the scouting. This will be something that we'll do in the offseason right before the draft that we'll be able to go out and scout players. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's where we're at. So we're coming down to the wire next episode. Uh, what I think we'll do is we will uh, start off live. We'll sim the Eagles game together to see if we make the playoffs or miss the playoffs because we're in or out, I, I believe. And then if we make the playoffs, then we'll go ahead and sim through the playoffs as far as we get. And then we'll wrap up the season uh, post Super Bowl. So I uh, hope you guys will join me for that. Um, again, we're right at 17 minutes. I think this is going to become more the norm for these episodes uh, rather than, the you know, spending as much time in the first three episodes where we were just kind of talking things out and trying to get a feel. So this is kind of where I think we'll go when we come back for next season. Like I mentioned last episode, episode three is I think we're going to break it down into uh, six week, uh, six week increments. And so we'll have six games to review uh, or six weeks to review by week. You know, we may only have, five games to look at for our team but that's uh that's what we're looking at and then we can get you know basically four four episodes per season and we're putting up you know two to three episodes a week so about every week and a half we'll, we'll go through a season and you know and uh you know and then we can decide if that's a little too fast paced if you'd like to slow it down a little bit um again Right now with this series, you know, it's open for a lot of interpretation from you guys. So let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, um, because I want to take that in and be able to adjust how I'm doing the series for those of you that are checking it out. Um, anyway, we'll see you next episode for the uh, final game of the season. And then if we make the playoffs... Uh, we'll have a little playoff action as well. Take care, guys. Hit that like button and subscribe if you don't mind. Talk to you later. Bye.